Hey, my name is Leku from ROI Atlanta. And in this video, my team and I are going to show you the core elements that we make sure are in place in every playbook funnel that we build and maintain for our clients. Grab a notepad and let's dive in. In this video, I'm going to show you why a playbook funnel is greater than a webinar funnel. Now, if you're a coach, consultant, course creator, or just someone that uses webinar to get sales, I'm going to show you the type of funnel that I'm using that's actually converting a lot better than a webinar. Because as you know it, webinars take a ton of time to create. And if you don't have that time, you don't want to put in the effort to create a webinar, you don't have a proven offer, right? You don't know that people actually want what you're talking about. Then this playbook funnel is going to be for you. So I'm going to show you all about the playbook funnel and why it's greater than the webinar funnel and much better. You're going to like this. So let's dive right in. What is the playbook funnel? So people have a misconception of what a funnel really is. The funnel does not do the selling. The offer and the messaging does. So the funnel is just a means to sort qualify and filter so i filter out my leads i sort them and then they qualify themselves when they go through my funnel but the funnel is not meant to do the selling it's just meant to actually qualify your offer and your messaging is what's going to sell your offer or sell whatever product or service you're selling so if you can't sell your offer with a simple whiteboard then the funnel won't help you so if your offer is bad a funnel will not solve your problem and help you so i like to use what i call the invisible funnel me method to get proof of concept first now this invisible funnel method i'm going to go through this later but all it is is just letting people know that hey I want your offer, I want more. And when I know that they want more, then I go into actually creating the playbook funnel. So an invisible funnel turns into an actual funnel. So why do we use the playbook funnel? Well, we use the playbook funnel to convert cold traffic into high paying clients. It takes a complete stranger and moves them closer to your offer. So the more we inform, the more we sell. Uh, this is a lot better for your prospects because your program may or may not be a good fit. You also get better results with this type of funnel. And you don't have to spend time putting together a webinar funnel, which requires technical skills and automation. I mean, if you've never put together a webinar, it takes a lot to put together webinars. So how do we use the playbook funnel? Well, we use the playbook funnel to warm up cold traffic. It's a five-step process. So you have the opt-in page, you have a bonus training, you have an application page, a schedule page, and then a tank page. So I'm gonna go through what each of these pages mean later, but this five-step process is really all you need to really convert a cold lead to a warm prospect. So this is how I actually create the playbook funnel in a nutshell. So I always write out the who, what, why, how, where, and when. I write at the top five mistakes and roadblocks that people are making in the industry. And then I create my intellectual property. So my intellectual property is just a way that I do something better than someone else. Like the playbook funnel, right? No one knows what that is. That's my intellectual property because I created it. It's a method that works for me. And it's like a hybrid between a webinar and then a, um, a, 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 a lead magnet. So who is your market? What pain do they have? What do they believe? What have they heard and what hasn't worked in the past and what is new? And then what is the one thing that they desire? So I ask myself these questions because when you can, when you know who your market is and you know the pain they have and you've heard the things they believe and you, and you know they're hearing these different things and you know what's worked for them in the past and what hasn't worked and what's new and what they really, really desire, then you can create a really great training and a funnel that people can't wait to go through. So you need to also know the three phases of a lead, unaware, aware, and action. So in order, in order for anyone to actually take action and go through your funnel and watch your trainings, they have to become aware of you. They don't know who you are, and then they become aware, and then they take action. So I like to actually leverage influencers. I run ads to get attention. I run ads to get people aware of me. I want to actually I like to actually leverage influencers because they already have awareness in an audience. So my first step is identifying who these influencers are. And then my second step is to actually 
get their attention, get my audience attention running ads. So I want them to either like or engage, right? That's also an action. People don't always have to buy. Sometimes an, an action is just them liking or engaging with your posts, with your ads. The last step is for me to move the audience to an action, whether that be a live stream, a case study, a podcast, uh, a webinar, a free training, whatever that may be, you want to move your audience to an action. So let's talk about the playbook funnel a little more. This funnel serves as a lead magnet and mini webinar all in one. So that's why I call it a hybrid. Uh, you can build a massive email list and sort through the leads very quickly to see who is in pain now. Because we know people are, they only take action if they're inspired or desperate, right? Desperation or inspiration. Right? What is their, why, what is their really pain here? What's the real thing they want solved? So when people go to your email list, sometimes you have to nurture them. But the playbook funnel actually takes care of that on the front end. They get nurtured later on on the back end, but I want to give them immediate gratification. I want to give them all the all the information they need so that they can feel like I'm the authority in the, in the market and I can solve their problem. So we create these playbook funnels very, very quickly. The way to create your playbook funnel is you want to first determine the market sophistication level. Um, if you don't understand the market sophistication level, then your marketing is not going to be on point. I need to know how well my market is familiar with what's already in the market, right? So stage one is you're first in the market. So all you have to do is make a claim, a claim. So if I'm first in the market, I can say how to lose weight. Right. If I was the first person in the weight loss niche, right, I'm teaching people how to lose weight, then I can say how to lose weight. But then as the market gets more advanced, you have to go, you have to start making claim wars. So stage two is claim wars, meaning that I can help you do A, B, and C with this, or I can help you do this with this. Like I'm making claims. I can help you lose 20 pounds with water. Or I can help you lose 10 pounds of intermittent fasting. Like everyone's making different claims. In stage three, we want to introduce a new unique mechanism. So this is where claim wars has gone to the next level of I can help you do X, Y, and Z different than anyone else. So this is like creating your own lane. This is creating your intellectual property that I mentioned. Um, and stage four is claim wars with a new accepted mechanism until it's no longer believable. So that's to the point where stage four is like everyone is talking about how to lose weight a certain different way. So you can lose weight this way, A way, B way, C way, this way, this way. And then everyone accepts this mechanism and then it's no longer accepted. Like um, maybe with keto. Well, maybe in five years, people will be like, keto is trash. It didn't really work. So just new mechanisms, but until it's no longer believable. And in stage five, as market no longer believes in current mechanism, completely new strategy needed. So when there's a new strategy needed, guess what? Mainly in stage five, it's always sex sales. People go to sex, like alcohol, you know, cigarettes, companies like that. It's the same thing every time. So they have to create a whole new strategy. Your prospects have heard and seen many ads and claims and are likely comparing your stuff to providers and programs and solutions they've already tried. So the fundamentals still apply at any sophistication level. Your market's pain is still there, desire is still there, and they want a solution. So your market wants to know how you will solve the problem. They want to see your process at a high level so they compare it to what's already there. They want convenience and simplicity more than ever. Your landing page must inspire hope that they finally can get what they want. So here's the million dollar question. How can your mechanism give me what I want faster, quicker, simpler, and easier? Your prospects want proof of concept. So they want to know how they can get what they want quicker, faster, simpler, or easier. Um, so here's how you can create proof of concept. You can say how I got and you'll insert a big benefit or a cure pain. So how I got um, to six figures with so A and B method or how, I, um, how I'm teaching millennials how to create six figure side hustles or how I got some type of benefit or how you cured your pain. Um, and then you can also say how X did the very thing they want. So how Martha made got five five clients in one day, or how Martha. So what is the very thing that they want? And then implying it's already done and proven to work. 
So here's the most important piece of the playbook funnel. It's the landing page because if the landing page doesn't have immediate pay, immediate payoff in an aha moment, then they're not going to want to go through the rest of your funnel. So the, the graphics and design don't really have to be that great. Like my funnels, my playbook funnels, they don't look very spectacular, but I do always make sure that the playbook, which is the PDF, always is nicely designed and looks good. Um, because I want them to get on my on my landing page and want more. They should want to consume more. So back to the playbook funnel. Here's what it is in a nutshell. It's going to discuss the who, what, why, how, where, and when. Top five mistakes and roadblocks that people are making in the industry or market. It's going to have your intellectual property in there. And the way you come up with that is ask, your, ask yourself, who is your market? What pain do they have? What do they believe? What have they heard? What hasn't worked in the past? What is new? What's the one thing they desire? Um, and it should be simple and easily consumable. One ultra-specific pain and desire and one ultra-specific outcome. So one pain or one thing they really desire and then one outcome they're looking for, whether they maybe make 10K a month or get five clients, um, a lead gen system, um, client attraction. What's the one thing they want? And then it must be a proven concept. So how I did X, Y, Z, or how X did Y, and you can too. And it should be done and proven if you go this route. So it needs to be proven. So how to package and deliver. Well, you want to already have your proven blueprint slash how to take them from point A to point B. Um, this is what the playbook is. It's a blueprint. And then you can give them formulas, frameworks, templates, recipes. Uh, it should be quick, fast, and easy. Uh, you can give them scripts. And cheat sheets with infographics as well with the most critical info. So how I usually create my playbooks is I always write out on one side pain, which for, for my market would be not getting any clients or selling their course for two less, getting burnt out. And then happy client is um, that's point B. They are, they're in pain and then point B is making them happy. What's the very thing that's going to make them happy? high paying clients and then I write out future results so after they get high paying clients what comes next well hiring people fulfilling work so here's the pillars of my offer so the hook offer and then lead gen and funnel slash funnel so these are the pillars of my offer I focus on the messaging the actual offer which is what you sell or what you're selling um, who you're selling it to and how and then lead gen and funnel is really my process of bringing in leads and sorting them and qualifying them, bringing in qualified leads. So messaging. Um, what, well, if, I'm, if I was to create a playbook funnel and I'm doing my offer, I'm going to write out what are the mistakes that people are making when it comes to my market. Um, don't know how to communicate with the audience. So they're, they don't have an ad that's converting or a webinar that's converting or they don't have an offer that's converting because their offer is wrong. Um, skeptical. People are skeptical skeptical of them because they're not charging enough and don't have any position or authority um they can't find an audience with big problems and pain points and teach them a better way um and then we're in the information era so people are mining for gold right and they need shovels and your expertise is the shovel they're looking for the right shovel to mine for gold so position your offer as the shovel and the clients will come to you and then legion um this is how you go from zero sales to thirty thousand dollars per month right you need more leads which equals more opportunities to get new clients so the more people you talk to the more money you generate and we use the, rever the reverse organic method to bring in massive leads on autopilot this also validates our offer and then lastly the sales process so now that we had legion right we got leads well that's still theory until someone actually opens up their the wallet or their purse and pays you money now you have a valid offer. Now you have a proven offer. So this is the most important step. This turns your conversations into clients and keeps cash flow rolling in. So sales is usually looked at as a bad thing, but the way we structure our sales process turns even the worst salespeople into closing machines. Even a 16 year old can close deals using this process and script. So no pressure selling, and we make sure we get on the phone with, the, with only the willing and able. And lastly, we interview each prospect and make sure we can help them before bringing them in as a client. So 
the last piece is the actual training. Now, what's this bonus training that's a part of the playbook funnel? Well, when I talk about the who, what, why, how, where, when, and intellectual property, this when I say who, I mean who are you? Why should they listen to you? What? What are you doing? What are you going to discuss? What is the training about? And then the why. Why are you sharing this information? Why should they take action now? And how? How did you get started? How does it work? Give them three secrets. And then where? Where can they learn more? And when? When can they get started? And then your intellectual property is how we do X using XYZ method or how to do X. So your own intellectual property, your unique selling mechanism, how you do something differently than everyone else. Or if the market sophistication level is early on, then it's just how to do X. So this that's everything I use for the playbook funnel. Now with the playbook funnel, as I mentioned, it's just a way of, of sorting, of sorting, filtering and, and qualifying my leads. But to actually get the leads, I like to use what I call the reverse organic method where you can actually hijack traffic from influencers and hijack traffic from your competitors. Now, I hope that walkthrough helped you to get a better idea of exactly how to build and use that online marketing asset the right way. If you'd like help with all the technical aspects of setting it all up and maintaining it, my team here at ROI Atlanta specializes in that. Simply fill out the form that is below this video and I'll be glad to walk you through how we can help you get this up and running fast.